Hi, this is Jennifer for Open Helix. Welcome to this Tip of the Week. If you're viewing this video somewhere other than at the blog, be sure to check out the full post at blog.openhelix.com so that you can see the full discussion with links, etc. In today's tip, I would like to demonstrate a new resource for uh, from NCBI. The resource was announced in a recent NCBI newsletter, and the name of it is the Thousand Genomes Dataset Browser. You can read a description of the tool here. What I'm going to do is just click over to the browser to show you it. So here is a browser page. This is what you're going to see as soon as you um, access this browser because it, by default, it will have a chromosomal location loaded into it. This page is rather busy. It is created with a variety of different widgets. And so what I want to do is walk you through um, the main widgets, and then I'll go back and visit some of the um, additional options widgets. So here, is the genome overview widget and it shows you all of the human chromosomes and you'll notice this green box here that's because we are viewing the entire chromosome one and so it has a green box around it along the top here is the chromosome overview widget this will display the chromosomal area um, that you're looking at and again we're looking at all of chromosome one Below that is the NCBI Sequence Viewer. The Sequence Viewer is an embeddable widget that provides graphical views of sequence features. As you can see, as I mouse over um, the various items on the display, we get information boxes popping up with additional information. Um, the last main widget that uh, is on this browser page is the genotypes widget and what you see in this widget is a list of various populations and then along this um, area of the chromosome you see the different uh, variations and in each population you see um, the frequencies you can actually uh, toggle between counts or frequencies. Right now I'm displaying counts. So those are the main widgets on the um, Thousand Genomes browser uh, page. The additional widgets that you should be aware of that you may or may not notice the first time you're there is here is a search widget so you can enter um, as it says here, a location, a gene name, or phenotype. Click go, and then the entire browser page will reload to that location. This is a widget that allows you to um, select the subjects that you want to view in your tracks, both in the genotypes and um, the sequence viewer. And the final other uh, widget that's important to know about is download data for this region. So if you dis get this displayed exactly the way you want, you can download the information that you're viewing um, for further use and analysis. One thing that I want to stress again is that this genome, Thousand Genomes browser is specifically from NCBI. If you go to the Thousand Genomes um, homepage and click to use their browser, you're going to be using a different genome browser because they use the Ensemble Genome Browser. But this NCBI browser shows the Thousand Genome uh, Project data with links to NCBI resources, etc. So this, I think, is a great way to explore and visualize data from the thousand genomes. I hope you check it out. Thanks for joining me in today's tip. See you next time.